what's up Stephen Johnson stocks not as good a video as I'd like to usually make um, I was running really hot up more than fifteen thousand dollars in the last few weeks and then I took this 2.4k loss which is sucks but I'm still up like 12 grand still up for like a record month 12 13 ish but I just want to make a video to show where I went from strict discipline always having a risk level on the chart always sizing according to that risk level always entering um, entries into a loss journal when I when I broke that risk and I want to get into how when I was running so hard that and then the trade setups weren't as good where I started getting to the point where I was saying I've got so much conviction in this that I'm just going to add size and it should work out um, and I thought I can't find a good risk level so just going to short it and, and then I'll just figure it out if I go red maybe I'll just cut it and and if there's no good risk level on the chart, it's not a good trade. It's as simple as that. So I fell into a bad habit, got away with it three days ago, made 600, got away with it two days ago, made another 800. So I was up like 1500 of making things go my way that shouldn't have gone my way and then lost 2.4K today. So getting away with it, getting rewarded, getting away with it, getting rewarded, and then paying it all back and more when it goes wrong. So it sucks um it's all in the loss journals uh, me losses are getting less i am doing better but um i've got to constantly hold myself accountable and constantly get back to trading with risk risk sizing with risk and um and whenever i get into this bad habit it's documented and it's on youtube and and uh, i'm just gonna keep on doing it until it goes away and, and it is going away i am getting better like i'm on record months record weeks i'm not having the downswings, but this is a hiccup and it's something that needs to be addressed. So, so let's roll in. So I'm basically going to walk you through the 17th, 18th and 19th. So I, I've been running really well and this is all very disciplined trading, always sticking to rules, adding things into the loss journal here yeah, whenever I make a mistake, being very on it. And, uh, and I was running super good. I was up like 14,000, um, up 14,000 and across 18 days like up 14,000 across like 14 trading days like average about a thousand a day and just on the 17th 18th and 19th uh, I started breaking rules um 17th started with something kind of like a, an old habit of like being very bullish on bearish setups but not having risk but knowing I'd get away with it and getting away with it to to on the 18th kind of like getting into the old habits of like Again, just repeating the process, but like thinking it has to go down and having conviction that it has to fail. So then I'll give up risk to the 19th, which seeped into a really bad habit of like short and heavy size and yeah, support. And that's been a problem I've had for a while, like having so much conviction that it that it means I neglect risk and um, short and support for that fear of missing out that I'm going to to not catch the move. And, and, the, and the two kind of seep into each other. If I just had the correct risk level and risked off it. I wouldn't be adding near support because I wouldn't be wanting to lower me average to give up to make me risk level come down. So one 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 problem seeps into the other. But again, like look, it's it sucks. It's one of those things. Um ultimately like I got away I got away with like 800 yeah, and I got away with about 800 yeah. So like I made about 1.6 from the trades that I like kind of cheated me risk on. Made about 1.6 only to lose 2.5, and it was nearly full. So, I mean, I literally, well, it seems like you're doing the right thing by forcing the trade in your way and forcing the price action to be like, ah, yeah, look, I'm right. I got myself out of a bad situation. What you're actually just doing is reinforcing bad habits that lead to a bigger loss later down the line. So with ZCMD, this is when discipline started to kind of really go wrong. Uh, I started getting away with mistakes. This is strike one where it's all the gap and crap, it's all the gap and crap, it's all the gap and crap. And on ZCMD, the market's been getting a bit quieter and I got just stuck in this range. Took a couple of losses. I was down like 350 pre-market. And I just thought, right, well, it always fails. So just, just hit the open, size in, you'll get the pull and, uh, and all will be well. And I mean, I did, like I made like, the 400 back plus another seven or 800 but what's to say ZCMD that has really crazy volume compared to its previous days 
on this one occasion just tops tops yeah has a small pull back sits somewhere like here because the volume is just a bit bigger on this occasion or someone decides just to sit on the stock or maybe there's a buyer who's just going to manipulate and push it up what if it just has the next leg up and I'm sizing full size 10 15 grand short and then I get like ripped another 20 30 percent on a 15 grand position and I don't make the 700 dollars that I did by sizing in on the way up I actually lose five grand um so it's like risking three four thousand <clears throat> to make six seven hundred and this mentality of it has to fail so I'm not gonna have a risk level is a repeated mistake that I'm consistently making um the ideal way to play the chart is let it top, hit it in the 395s, write it down to the 280s. You've got like 20 cents risk reward to make over a dollar. And then if it does hit this risk, good, stop out and then hit it higher later on because it will come down. You just, you just can't guess the top. And the mentality again of it has to fail. So I'll just, I'll, I will neglect risk because of the conviction that it has to fail. Like that's just that's the mistake and i've made it three times so sino was kind of strike two of a lack of discipline um nfts again but again we had uh, ocg tcat running sino somehow decided to jump into the sector like it jumps in every hot sector the price action just wasn't um sino just wasn't catching on like traders just didn't believe the news so it was it was an easier easier short for me in the morning when it didn't push but again you've got this short um around this 870s risk and high of day and, and it's fine to stop out here and then let let the chart push establish a new level that to shorten risk off which is the 920 so you might have a little bit of profit from the short risk and high of day taking a little bit off and then reshorten once it like cut cutting high of day here on this level when it breaks high of day and then and then re re getting in in the 920s once that once that risk uh, level is established, but I didn't. I just thought this has to fail and added, 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 and made six hundred dollars. But I would have made, I think, the same if not more money by taking the cut, not losing this range from the nines to the nines forties, like not losing that six percent, and just getting back in fresh in the nine twenties, and then having a really nice average to to run it down to the eight fifties instead of. Adding, 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 getting the pullback and thinking maybe I need to take some off here because I've got too much size at too low on average. Why not just take the stop, get back in fresh, you've got your risk and then you're comfortable all the way down. So I'm not going to go overboard with like technical analysis. I mean, it's a very basic mistake I've made on this. TCAT and OCG, the NFTs, the run in the hot sectors. And we've got this parabolic push. Sixes to the 40s, you've got first red day after a doji, which is a typical, uh, very good short setup on something really overextended. It's either going to flush or it's going to consolidate and have an X leg higher. But if you trade it the right way into a day, you're always going to be fine. And, and when we got the, the blow off top the night before, it was actually long this sell in, in, into the 40s. And then the panic in the morning and the gap down, it's a good sign this is done. It's just about finding a good level to risk off and playing. So, I mean, shorten the 31s, risk on the 34s, shorten the 33s, risk on the 34s, um, and then holding over the weekend. On Monday, it either blows through 34, you get out, or it gaps down and flushes and you make money. The problem is, is I, got, I mean, this range is 20%. I just got sucked in, shorten, covering, shorten, and that should be the end. Shorten on 33, risk on 34. Somehow I got sucked in as, again, to take in profits while I had them because I was getting sucked into the trade. Ended up shorting near the bottom end of the channel thinking it has to fail. So I'm not going to have a risk level because it has to fail. And then I've got too much size with too low an average right near support. Rips up, down four grand, get out for two grand after hours. And the, the, the big picture is good. The trade is good. This could easily flush on Monday. If it doesn't, it should be a break even stop out or a few hundred dollar loss. But having too much conviction that it has to fail and therefore not setting a risk boundary um, is a huge, huge um, mistake. And it, it comes off the tip of um, breaking rules for the last two days, then I broke them bad, then I paid. Thank you so much for watching. And all in all, um, 
like I say, it's not the first two thousand four hundred dollar loss I've took. I've took about thirty of them. Um, I'm not unhappy about it. This is the game that we play. Uh, we're gambling with money and emotions daily. So I'm not gonna say it's a terrible thing. I think it's a learning. And um, it's been a month since I took any loss into the thousands. So the only goal is to make sure that I don't do this for another six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks. Make sure that these losses, this habit of not respecting risk, of having conviction at the detriment of risk, making sure this habit is slowly eroded. And I'm on a great path. I'm still on for a record month. But um, it's really about quieting the ego down and, and not just trying to make profits at the, at the expense of process. That's exactly what it is. It's going for profits at the expense of process. And when you neglect process, you're fucked.